right on. So I got a few things I want to share out of Proverbs 26. As snow in summer, and as rain and harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. So you see, Proverbs is a bunch of small snippets of wisdom. And these small snippets, they'll reveal situations to you. I've I seen this, okay? I've seen the curse. It says, as the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. So if you see a curse on someone's life, it's not, it's not an accident. It's the way it is. A whip for the horse, a brittle for the ass. Again, that means donkey. And a rod for the fool's back. Okay? Now, does that mean that the rod is always there? Does it mean we need to apply the rod from time to time? If we, you know, we have authority over a fool? Or is it God's judgment that uh, you'll be punished for your foolish ways? Something to think about. Answer not a fool according to his folly. Lest thou also be like unto him. And this, this is a reason why sometimes I just stay quiet. Answer, a, answer not a fool according to his folly. Lest thou also be like unto him. What would I want to be like a fool for? It just doesn't make sense. Answer a fool according to his folly. Lest he be wise in his own conceit. So you see, that's one of those little parts of the word that says, Answer him lest he be wise in his own ways. But how can you determine which one to do, right? He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool, cut it off the feet, and drinketh damage. Yeah. Snippets of wisdom. The legs of the lame are not equal. So is a parable in the mouth of fools. Look at that. You can't even take God's great knowledge. As a fool, you can't even share it right. It's not even, it don't add up. Just look at, look at, look at, look at um, verse 1 and 26. As snow in summer... And it's rain in harvest, so honor is not seen before a fool. You'll be like, what is this? This doesn't add up, brother. This don't add up. Verse 8. As he that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that giveth honor to a fool. As a thorn goeth up into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. I guess I mean it come back for your own hurt. Okay, comes back for your own hurt. The great God that formed all things both rewardeth the fool and rewardeth transgressors. God is good to the wicked and to the unjust, but I'm sure here it, it's also hinting at the judgment. Okay, so verse 11 As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Okay. So, folly is the way of a fool, okay? Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. 13. The slothful man saith, There is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. Verse 14. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his balsam. It grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a joke, but there's wisdom in it. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. So if you find somebody who is... Uh, He's not motivated in his heart, okay? He's not driven. He's a sluggard. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit. He knows that the way of, of sluggardry, if you will, he knows those ways so well, okay, that seven men, seven men couldn't express to him how the ways of being motivated and driven and forward, how that's greater than his way. They, he won't even hear them, okay? He that passeth by and meddleth with strife, Belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. So think twice before you know you, you get involved in strife that's 
that's got nothing to do with you, you know? Now, that's not, if someone's innocent or seemingly innocent and, you know, is being um, abused, if you will, okay? That doesn't mean just walk on by, you know? But if you see, you see two people that look the same, okay? Let's put this in new age terms or, or urban terms, rather. Because new age is something different. You're walking around the hood and you see two guys arguing. They probably do that a lot. It's probably a trap, okay? I, I know what that looks like. As a madman who casteth fire, firebrands, arrows, and death, so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and saith, am, I, am not I in sport? You know, in, in today's world, it's sport to be uh, deceptive. It says, you know, so, so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor. Who is your neighbor? Everyone. Okay, your brother is another believer. Your sister is another believer. But your neighbor is everyone. Where no wood is, there the fire that goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife seethes. Seeth, seeth, seeth this. Oof, that word is hard to say. As coals are to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. Now, if, you know, you know somebody that's always kindling strife, man. Just stay away from people like that. Just stay away. Not everybody is your friend. The words of a tailbearer are as wounds, and they go down in the innermost parts of the belly. So now that's people who lie, okay? Or tell the truth about something that they got no business talking about, bringing dishonor upon all the parties involved. A tailbearer. It, 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 it's, it's a spiritual harm. It's a spiritual harm, okay? Because words shape reality. Words have a lot of power to whoever's listening. Now, you can say a lot, and if I'm not listening, it just it, nothing's happened. But to people who are innocent, they might not know where to stop listening. Okay, 23. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a potsherd covered with silver dross. Even that one is a bit beyond me. He that hateth disassembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. He that hateth disassembleth. He's picking apart with his lips and he layeth up deceit within him. Okay? When he speaketh fair, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. I don't believe any liar. I don't believe a deceit. I need to see real change in somebody before I just go ahead and, and trust. Okay? Because yesterday you were a liar and deceitful. Why would you have changed today if nothing's happened? Okay, I didn't see tears. I didn't see repentance. I didn't see brand newness. Okay, so when he speaketh fair, whoever this individual is, this liar, this hateful man, okay, when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. And a flattering mouth, it means that they're, they're, they're flattering you, okay? You feel good by what they're saying. It's going to come back for you, okay? The word of God stands true every time. Be warned. Read this book of wisdom. That's Proverbs chapter 26.